rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. For What's up, Wildcats? I'm Anna. And I'm Maddie. And this is your special, special. report. So we're going to ask you a couple questions about Red Ribbon Week. So what is the history behind Red Ribbon Week? The history uh, behind Red Ribbon Week uh, was, it began because of, uh, it was a kidnap and torture and murder of DEA agent Enrique Camarena in 1985. He was an undercover uh, cop trying to battle the war of drugs coming into our country illegally. That's really sad. So, what's um, what, how has it changed throughout the years it's been celebrated? There really hasn't been a change uh, be, throughout the years, the only thing that has changed are the themes. So the theme of this year is, your future is a key, so stay drug free. That's a really great motto. What are some of the ways that Red Ribbon Week is being celebrated currently? It, uh, it's celebrated in different ways. For example, it's up to the school site to celebrate it. For example, one of the things that we've done here is, uh, we've wore um, Crazy Sock Day, and, it's to, and it, the theme of that day is, sock out drugs of our, out of our school. So the themes are different at different school sites, so it's up to the school site to decide. That's cool. So who made Red Ribbon Week a national holiday? After the men were found uh, murdered, citizens of his hometown of Calexico, California, uh, donated uh, red ribbons in, in his honor, and it became the symbol of Red Ribbon Week. Nancy Reagan, the first lady, of our of our president at the time, Ronald Reagan, uh, made it a national holiday, and an an anti-drug time, program. Ronald Reagan worldwide uh, made it a national holiday and an anti-drug program worldwide. That's good. So thank you for the in for the interview, Mr. Acosta. Thank you guys. Um, that's all for now. I'm Joey. Today is Wednesday, October twenty sixth, and we're all about courtesy and appreciation. So make sure you're showing that around campus. Well. If you want your baby pictures to be in the yearbook, be sure to email those before your age of five, before November 17th, and that will be at Ronima and at homevalley.net. Uh, today is the PTA color run. Um, students who are registered will be leaving during their seventh period classes at approximately 2.50 to head to the field. You're going to be given a water and a shirt, and concessions are going to be sold there, so be sure to go to that. Well, tomorrow's the ASV Haunted House. If you're going to buy it today, it will be $6, and tomorrow it will be $7. On Tuesday, October 31st, is the Halloween Spirit slash Costume Day. So be sure to wear your Halloween costume, costume, but there can't be any makeup, masks, or props, so be sure to do that. And also on October 31st, there will be a giant pumpkin size and weight contest during your lunch period. The BMX assembly has been moved from, November, from last week to November 2nd due to the rain. And that'll be from 9.15 to 10.15, so be sure to do that. Go to that. And finally, ghostly grams are being sold for $1 in home rooms, so they look like this. And they will be in rooms 603, 308, and 506. So be sure to buy those. Well, that's all for, for the news desk. I'm still Anna. And I'm still Maddie. Now, now let's send it on over to What's up, Wildcats? I'm John. And I'm Chelsea. And this is your sweater, sweater report. The high today is 88 degrees and the low is 53 degrees. There is a 0% chance of precipitation. The humidity is at 23% and the winds are at 10 miles per hour. Now to John for sports. Okay, so today there is a football game. Hillsdale comes and plays at LCC. And on Halloween, LCC goes and plays a football game at Emerald. And for cross country, November 1st, there is a meet at Steel Canyon. So if you're on the cross-country team, go run in that race. And if you're on the football team, go play those football games. Mm -hmm. So that's it for your sweater report. I'm still John. And I'm still John. Have a great day, Wildcats. Yeah.